This might get weird. Are we rolling? We're rolling. Well, cheers, Grace Helbig. Cheers, Memory Heart. Oh, I am partaking in a delightful mm. crystal light. Mm. You know it. And it's already in a pink glass, so I'd be none the wiser. I think you were drinking straight up just <laughs> what sparkling am I water. Poor? <laughs> uh, you're going to say tap water. <laughs> Uh, it is tap water with a packet of raspberry lemonade. Crystal nice. Light, non sponsored. I've gotten big into liquid IV. Oh, really? Yeah. It's like the most intense name, though. It is really intense, but I've just gotten now used to, like, I mean, I'm sitting here drinking a Red Bull. Yeah. But yeah, so, like, obviously, chemical flavors are like my palate, I think. Girl. So, uh, the liquid IV, whatever's going on with it, I've gotten really into. And also, just like, you know, the psychology of going, well, I'm double hydrating well, right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Hold on. Does that mean, is, does it basically just turn regular water into like smart water? It like adds electrolytes? Suppose it's like, uh, it, I don't know exactly, but it boasts like that this is quicker hydration than just like drinking water, you, I guess. You know what? I have a friend. <laughs> And by that I mean, who are they? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean names. I have a friend. By that I mean, I met this man once at a pottery class. Okay. Um, but I follow him on Instagram. That these days is what constitutes hey, friendship. I've hung out with him more than all, most of my friends in the last <laughs> few years. But so, but he's one of those um, people on Instagram that like is very quaffed. He's like constantly hanging out at like revolve parties. Wow. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. and he's like a photographer, but also like has brand deals. Uh, that guy gets more of those like B12 IVs than anyone. I've like the actual IV. You know, when you see like the hungover people. Yeah. That they're just like in a hotel room getting. Yeah. Have you ever done that? I've never done that. Gonna, well, that was my segue. No, I've never. That's why I can only I do get, the liquid version. I hate needles. I don't right. want to sit there, let alone watch my hungover friends have needles. in their well, Yeah. If I'm super hungover, the idea of then seeing an IV being inserted <laughs> see? is crazy crazy seeing a little playroom of a hospital yeah play out that i feel like gives you the warning of like maybe we shouldn't be doing this to our bodies i know but my friend uh who lives in the outer banks her little brother he's well, both of her brothers are dentists okay. and they started a side business that's a mobile one of those for like guys for like people on vacation in the outer oh. banks who are hung over to come to your beach house and administer those and they are making bank. I bet two dentists. They basically <laughs> well, two dentists. Well, they don't even do it. They like hired a couple like registered nurses. Wow. And yeah. Then, bam. It's like money on weekend money. Jeez. I, I know. Mean, Long story short, though, we were just talking about going on tour and it's, yeah. it's, <laughs> it's <laughs> three shows. I'm already over three days and I'm like, should we get IVs? I'm dehydrated just thinking about my travel. Oh, my God. God, it's gonna be a rough one. Anyway, <gasps> how are you, Grace? I'm good. We're recording this on a Monday, which yeah. always somehow feels a little wonky wild. And, it feels absolutely weird. Uh, and because in my mind, I'm like, well, what's possibly gonna happen in the 24 extra hours that what we would want to talk about? What massive story <laughs> is gonna drop that we're gonna miss out on and get none of the hits and the views? I don't, I don't know, and it's maybe for the best. Oh, uh, but we are recording this on Monday because tomorrow we're recording another episode of our discovery plus youtube reacting show so if you haven't seen that check it out kicking and streaming <laughs> that's the first time we it's the first time we've ever mentioned it on the I've, podcast on the way over i was like we should probably we should talk probably, about that yeah if you go to the discovery plus's youtube show there's a channel a ch channel <laughs> well, i'm 900 years old <laughs> it's like i was i was listening to hank and john's podcast on the way over and they were making jokes about like the dot tv Remember when oh everyone God, used to everyone do was dot TV. TV? And that's how you were like, well, this is a serious comedian making their YouTube channel their oh, totally. name television. It would be like Insane Charlie TV. <laughs> I do weekly vlogs. Um, no, what was I going to say? Oh, I don't know. I'm out of my mind. I This morning, I woke up so tired mm -hmm. that um, well, I kept waking up and thinking I was in Palm Springs because I was there this weekend. Yeah. And I woke up and I was like, Fuck. <laughs> I don't have any coffee in this house. Ah, right. That was my nightmare. exact reaction. A real nightmare. So, but listen to this, Grace. Uh -huh. I was so lazy. Okay. How lazy, lazy were you? <laughs> that I post made it a cup of coffee. One single Well, cup? here's the deal. You can't do that. Here's the deal. That's psychotic. I know. <laughs> um, <laughs> I w okay. A couple weeks ago, I was like really tired, really hungover. 
I mean, when am I not? I was one of those two <laughs> things. And I was like, I want, I don't want to leave the house. Mm-hmm. It was just like a, one of those days where you're like, the curtains aren't opening. Yeah. I'm not leaving the house today. It's best for the world that I stay home. Yes. Mm-hmm. I need to fully hibernate. And I was like, fuck it. No, I'm going to Postmates like Starbucks with a wrap, with an iced tea, with <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. like get your like day going, yeah. you know? So this morning I thought I had done that. And I fucked up on the app. And so, you know, when you order like a Postmates or an Airbnb, anything, it's all the fees that get you. (laughs) Yeah. Like the actual thing you're ordering isn't that expensive. I thought you were saying you ordered an Airbnb to your house. I bought a house this morning. (laughs) Um, So this morning I fucked up. And I got a fifteen dollar cup of coffee. Ah, uh, I that know Los Angeles life. I felt so like I was embarrassed for what the postmate yeah. delivery person thought of me. You actually lived the joke that like a conservative makes about someone that lives in Los Angeles. Yeah, <laughs> what are they getting? Co- fifteen dollar box delivery. Of- yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I felt because when we go work out. Mm -hmm. Um, guys, here's some hot gossip. We go work out with Ross and allegedly his next door neighbor is Tom Petty's daughter. Yeah. You've told me this. I love it that I feel like I'm getting a very mini stars tour. (laughs) Yeah. yeah, yeah. We see her single window when she has a mannequin in. Yeah. Uh, she fully home alone. She probably has seen me staring in and she put a mannequin there. My aesthetic and I approve. (sighs) So, but I would be like, ugh rich kids when i would go to my car because she would get coffee delivered and now i'm that person now you're that person yeah uh, i'm going no i'm going to i'm going to ralph's today i'm buying a bag of coffee but still (laughs) i i'm still sipping on it as if it's gold oh this is from this morning well i got a trenta right no i got a trenta Uh, two cups there you go two full cups see that's a life hack thank you Uh, so really i got Two cups of seven dollar coffee. When you really think about it, I mean. So you're making money. I'm. Making- <laughs> <laughs> hey, this is a business strategy. Oh my god. Uh, yeah, I've been in the world of writing papers and working on projects for school, so I've been living in my own universe of my brain. So it's very nice to be around yeah. another human being. Other you're than so Elliot. close, though. You're so close to graduating. Very close. Uh, everything's a little bit more meaningful. Everything uh, that I want to do shortcuts on, I'm like, no, you got to like, come on, Helvig. Because it'll be your final thing to do. Yeah. And also that I want to get the most out of it. You know, like I'm I'm paying for this. (laughs) Yeah. So why why am I trying to shortcut? Don't leave there with like I have from college, which is just anxiety dreams constantly (laughs) that I find out I didn't pass a course and I actually never got my degree. No, I did. Oh, you did? Oh, no, yeah. no, these are like, the dreams are I, t- no. <laughs> I was like, are you telling me? Sorry, I, I tuned back in at the end of that sentence. Your face was, I was shocked. Like, I just say, I mean, not that it matters, but what a Doesn't funny Doesn't matter reveal. at all, but I'm just saying, like, because when I went to school, yeah. I skipped class so much. See, I was such a uh, rules nerd that, like, you can't skip class. Like, when I saw people doing that and learned that like you could do that without consequence it blew my mind yeah because college is i never did it in high in high school no me like i was by the book i was good grades i was honors everything and then when i got to college i mean but the thing is is you still leave with the same amount of student debt yeah just less of the actual knowledge (laughs) yeah yeah yeah. and this is a world in which you're supposed to leave with knowledge and you're also supposed to contribute your knowledge it's not just like memorizing that's the part where i get a bit stuck on like how to contribute but it's also really fun. I've just been in like a bubble of trying to I'm figure proud it out. Of you. Hey, thanks. That's but a big deal. I will say, quick update from last week. Oh god. This astronaut ice cream. Yeah. So literally that night at the end of the <laughs> podcast last week, Namery gave me some astronaut ice cream. An astronaut ice cream sandwich. Sandwich. Neapolitan. Sandwich. <laughs> uh went home, took an edible, watched yeah. TV, and then I was like, it's ice cream time. It's time to go to space, bitch. It's I'm, I'm out of here. <laughs> and I open it and I start eating it. And then Elliot, also high, looks over at me. And then he creeps me. over like, oh, cool. what you like, watching now? He goes, oh my God. <laughs> this reminds me of space camp I, I, was like, I know it does you know why we have this in our house is because i talked about you being on space camp i forget that you don't listen to our podcast every week <laughs> and this is directly related to your actual <laughs> story of going to space camp and he tasted it, he's like 
Yeah, wow, well, it takes me back. <laughs> wow, do you think, did they get like one a day? Like I, like I a regular know. camp, you could go, you know, it'd be like, the camp I worked at didn't have this, but like mm. you'd go to the canteen and be like, well, I'm going to take my $2 and buy an ice cream or a bag of chips or like something. jail. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Basically. So I wonder if like, did they get a, a dehydrated did a daily dehydrated dessert everything i don't know but i will say need more information elliot on first nibble it's (laughs) that's your next memoir (laughs) on first nibble (laughs) it was a bit uh you know textures overwhelming shocking but literally i don't know if you had this experience it got more like i was more obsessed with it the more i ate it i ate half of it that night and then like the next morning went back for more because it was like but good for you for self-control to not finish it what i wondered is with your teeth Hmm. if you were gonna bite in and it felt like you know a rocket (laughs) in your- <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> uh, who are those two dentists that you know i gotta call them now <laughs> no. i just look i just i got two cavities filled like i don't know six months ago nine months ago mm-hmm. whatever it was and that was the first cavity i'd had in like 10 years or yeah. whatnot but i still feel like i take certain bites of things yeah and it's like oh, <laughs> <laughs> like like there's a like one of those yeah. lights when there's like a club opening yeah, like shooting into the sky sensitive zone my teeth are more sensitive to like um temperature so had it been oh. actual ice cream that oh. i bit into it might have been more of a problem this was great confusing at first and yeah. then got more delicious as you went are on are you gonna order some more yeah oh yeah <laughs> I, mean, I'm gonna... I wondered if i was opening a pandora's box well that's ellie it's like where did you like where did she get this and i went I to like, the museum of natural history yeah. of amazon it's a very niche <laughs> website called Amazon. But that's why it tasted so good when you were little because you yeah. couldn't. It was like Dippin' Dots mm. when it was like, I can only get the ice cream of the future at Carolyn's, the North Carolina version of Six Flags. <laughs> and I would like be thinking about what flavor I was going to get for weeks. Dippin' Dots is just balls of ice cream. That's like super cold. That's super cold. And it's the ice cream of the future. But, supposedly but what i want to know there yet? <laughs> yeah that's the question is because i feel like where was i think we talked about on the podcast like what year the jetsons are supposed to be right right right, okay, right. jetsons what year i bet it's like 2025 or something 2057 jetsons, what year <laughs> what year <laughs> it no it's 2062 i mean that's that's on the horizon that is on the yeah 2062 but like we'll be doing this podcast <laughs> yeah still. you get ready um when they said it's the ice cream of the future, indeed that. Like, how far into the future were you thinking that eventually all all yeah. ice cream would be little balls? Little balls. Uh, I don't know that I, I... I must have had it when I was younger, but definitely not as an adult have I had Dippin' Dots. So I guess there's more to discover. I don't care what they say. Happiness does not always come from within, okay? Sometimes you need a little boost. Whether it's someone saying, hey really great outfit or someone being like what's up you've got a good smile or like you win the next level in best fiends to know that you are the boss i am currently playing level 121 and let me tell you it is getting harder but it isn't getting any less fun inner peace is great and all but you know what's better making it to level a thousand in best fiends which i haven't done yet but i am very excited to get there one day that is what true satisfaction feels like you guys know I love Best Fiends. I talk about it all the time. In fact, I just played it just a second ago and I was in the ominous ocean and I was battling an octopus and I friggin' loved it, okay? The thing I love the most about Best Fiends besides the fact that it's just adorable, if I'm gonna be completely honest, and y'all know I love adorable things, is that it's constantly changing. They have these new themes that pop up all the time. They're basically like a new season, you know? You go in and all of a sudden we're in the Wild West or we're in a magical garden. Garden. I feel like right now it's doing a thing that feels very like Downton Abbey, which I'm obsessed with. I have such a good time playing it. And the best part is, is like you don't need Wi-Fi. Once you download Best Fiends, you can play anywhere, even without internet connection. Been flying a lot lately, have a lot of flights coming up. Best Fiends is a great way to have fun on a plane without spending $9 million on Wi-Fi. You can collect tons of fiends that get powered up as you play more levels. And every win brings new challenges, thousands of puzzles to 
play. Like I said, there's different events. So cute. They'd be like an Easter themed one. You know I'm excited already about Halloween coming up next fall. Those fiends are going to be adorable. With thousands of levels, there's always more to play. So don't make that piece just be from within. It can be from within uh, beating a new level on Fiends. Download Best Fiends for free from the App Store or Google Play. Plus, earn even more with $5 worth of in-game rewards when you reach level 5. Come on, you can do it. That's friends without the R. Best Fiends. I don't know about you, but when I am shopping for wine, I feel like I need a degree in grapes to find a good one. I usually shop by the labels, what looks appealing to me, but that's not how you figure out flavor. Or I try to remember that one time someone told me what tannins were and I can't. You know, it all should be easier, right? Well, it is. That's why First Leaf will do the hard work for you. They make it simple to discover new wines that you'll love without the hit or miss situations. First Leaf samples over 10,000 wines a year from around the world and selects only the finest bottles. They take the time to learn what you like and what you don't like, and then they will send you world-class wines tailored to your taste. You basically go on the site, you do the quiz, you tell them what you like or what you think you like, and then they send you the stuff that you think you like, and it's like, the highest quality stuff, you know? If you're not happy with the wine you receive, First Leaf will credit you for another. It doesn't get simpler than that. Sign up today and you'll get your first six bottles for $29.95 plus free shipping. Go to tryfirstleaf.com slash TMGW. That's T-R-Y-F-I-R-S-T-L-E-A-F making sure I can spell, dot com slash TMGW to get your first six bottles for $29.95 plus free shipping. Again, try firstleaf.com slash TMGW. If not for you, it makes a great gift. Um, speaking of little balls. Yeah. Do you know, I know you're not like a huge music gal, Mm-mm. but if I said like the Fleetwood Mac Rumors album, would you like, would I know you recognize of- like the album cover? It's like- no. Okay, it's like Stevie Nicks and she's dancing. It's if you went into a Goodwill right now, you'd find it. Like sure. I feel like it it sold so many. Or like a Forever Twenty One, it'd be on a T shirt. <laughs> a thousand percent. <laughs> oh, rest in peace. Our Forever Twenty One is gone. I think it's yeah. Isn't it just a website now? No. Well, I don't know if it's a website, but I know that at our mall, yeah, where there was a two story Forever Twenty One, it's turning into an Amazon fashion store. Amazon fashion. We are living in the United States of Amazon. It's out of control. Wow. Wow. It's out of control. Okay. But anyway, so this is this album cover, Fleetwood Mac Rumors. It's like a really famous album cover. I, God, I hate this phrase. I can't believe I'm about to say it. I was today years old. (laughs) (laughs) I hate hate that phrase so much. I can't believe I just did it. When I, I mean, I've seen this album cover for years. Yeah. I've owned this album, whatever. I didn't realize on it, if you look underneath Mick Fleetwood, he's got two balls hanging down. Yeah, what's going on? What is that? I don't know, but it surely is supposed to look like testicles. You guys, I know this is an <laughs> audio an audio entertainment, but just Google Fleetwood Mac Rumors album cover. I didn't notice that. Wow. They're, they're straight up nuts. There's, there's, there's truck, truck nuts. nuts. <laughs> he's rocking <laughs> truck nuts. There's, 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 Mick, what is? there's Fleetwood Mac nuts. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Anyway. Well, there's that. You learn something new every day. Um, Okay. I was going to say there's some other music news that we've touched on a little bit in Uh previous episodes. Uh, I saw this post on Instagram. I think it's from Twitter on Instagram, whatever. Uh, Same things. So we talked about Uh the Mexican pizza, the musical. Yeah. Okay. We've got updates. Dolly Parton Uh will star in Taco Bell's Uh Mexican, hashtag Mexican pizza, the musical. Streaming May 26th May 26th On TikTok On Streaming <laughs> on TikTok this, Is Dolly Parton What is happening guys just goes, Each word More shocking than more the last sho- <laughs> Okay hold on So, so Hold the date What May day 20- is this May 20 20- It's Thursday What time uh, On TikTok It just says streaming on TikTok uh, And there's a playbill uh, next to a photo of Dolly. This is a pop crave tweet from I think like a week ago. Well, we got to know what time we might have to like live stream for Patreon or something. I know this is and someone's comment under this Instagram post goes, we're going to have flying cars in 2022, 2022. <laughs> yeah, yeah, this, <laughs> this, I mean, but probably we're going to get to 2062 and be like, no Jetsons. We're all we have is an Arby's. Right. And Arby's 
like stomp musical <laughs> like, with like Jack Harlow. Taco Bell is going to get an EGOT at some point in oh, the future. my word. No, if I kind of want to eat a Mexican pizza while live streaming the stream. I mean, that's, I guess, what they're hoping everyone does. Oh, my goodness gracious. <laughs> I know. I'm just confused on... Do- I mean, look, Dolly to me makes incredible decisions. That she are does. Super thoughtful. She's never been more relevant. And she, like, well, we've all we're all the oldest we've ever been uh-huh. right now. But like, she's never been more relevant. Yeah. Then currently she makes uh, she makes choices. Look, I've been mm-hmm. making fun of it. I think it's stupid. But guess what? I know that she must be making hella money off yeah. doing this stupid thing. And, you know, she is investing it back into oh. The community. She's, this is for the people. Yeah, this is why I feel okay supporting this. And also, mm-hmm. I just feel like Dolly knows something that we don't. Like, I think she's got a social media strategy that is like beyond what we can even like fathom right God now. Damn it, Dolly! I know so <laughs> you are so good. So I went to Palm Springs this weekend. And I was telling you before we started recording because you guys, spoiler. Grace and I talk for like half an hour before we even hit record. Yeah, yeah. can you believe that? This stuff y'all don't know. <laughs> Suck us. Secrets. Um, but anyway, I was... Oh, God, no. I have a different story I want to tell you first. <laughs> but no, okay. We'll talk about pranks. We got time. So wait, first of all, girl, you mm. know we got those sliding glass doors. Yeah. We better keep the mesh closed. Wow, what happened? Or what is it called? Not mesh. The screen? <laughs> <laughs> Like, uh, you're really confident in whatever this is. So I better Google it silently and figure it out and go along with this. Grace goes on this Urban is, Dictionary. Keep the mesh closed. This is me in every meeting with anyone and also at school when people are confidently talking about things that I assume I should also know about. You better keep that, that meshed in porch. Um, so anyway, I was out there. Yeah writing and then i i had it open to be like beans let's pretend we're a dog yeah that's <laughs> what you like to be out here come on out and i and then i hear tap 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 and i'm like oh god oh god oh god oh god i go inside on the front door no inside the house but like like someone's like in the house tapping on on the window i'm mm-hmm. like what the fuck what the fuck hummingbird in our <gasps> kitchen that's in a- our kitchen trying to get out so bad and not realizing the whole, where it came from the whole time we were down there Ellie so many I, hummingbirds. Ellie and I literally, I think I have 17 videos on my phone of me trying to get a hummingbird on camera. Were you on I, mushrooms? No. Okay. Uh, I, we were just like day drinking. I also <laughs> I also set up a trap for them outside. A trap? I put those, we have these giant, oh, like um, uh, pop art kind of like jacks outside. Those like big art pieces oh, yeah. that are on the oh, table. Guys, yeah. Like, Not like a... Like, like those toys, like the game jacks. Yeah, they're yeah, like okay. art pieces that we have sitting on top Two of giant our jacks. table outside. And I was like, they they keep coming to the lights, thinking that they're flowers, and they're trying to get nectar. So I just set up the <laughs> jacks with a bunch of flowers and berries on top of them. Oh my god, you created like a and little I, Eden. And then I tried to set up my camera and just had it like recording. I had it record for like thirty minutes. Not a sign. Not a single one. You know what you have to bring hmm. is those little feeders. Yeah, I know. I did because we were. I made the hummingbird hat. They didn't want to get any near, anywhere near it. Yeah, but then I just took the feeders and held it in my hand, and Dude, they were coming up to my hand. That's well. what we were doing the whole time, Elliot and I. <laughs> they really? Go, we don't have Wait, cameras. holding flowers yeah. or feeders. Uh, flowers. No, 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 Thank no, God we don't have cameras in the backyard. You would have seen hours of footage of Elliot standing in the middle of the grass, <laughs> truly like he's being crucified. Yeah. Like he's crucified, and people have come and laid flowers to like, honor him. Like he just got baptized, and he's praising the lord above he was just standing because he truly believed he he was like you know having some connection with them and he was like There's i'll that get him, major I'll right get there. him to come uh and it was just <laughs> hilarious yeah so that's but that was my fear the whole time i was yeah. like they keep coming right up here right up to the house wow it was inside it was like above our sink <gasps> where there's windows do? that don't open so he just kept like banging into it right yeah and i was like oh come on little buddy like <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh no. And like, I truly just showing him the door, like I'm on prices, right? Yeah. Just being like, oh, behind here, we have freedom. So he's just going off, right? And I'm like, what do I do? What do I do? Beans is like, don't look at me, bitch. Like, I stay indoors. And so I was like, I know where a broom is. Right. Maybe I can just guide it. But yeah. I'm terrified. They're so, they're, they're so delicate. So delicate. And I was like, look, we have experienced it. 
where I've been there with Chip and we're walking out the do- door to leave and heard a thud and it was like a full size bird yeah. had gone into the screen door yeah. or the the glass door and died. I mean, it was terrible. I was like, what is this omen? Yeah, <laughs> but, yeah, exactly. But the hummingbird, I was like, I might like, cry, yeah. this little guy. So I go to get the broom and when I come back, he had left. Oh, okay. So we're good, but there was a minute there because he was above the sink. <laughs> but see, I would be like, did it leave? Did it leave? Or are they throwing a hummingbird party there right, right. now? Is it, did it make itself comfortable in one of these bedrooms? Is he I currently suing us? And right now he's, he's having a fucking squatter's right. orgy in our sink. Um, no, but I had a moment there where I was so scared to look because he was banging, banging, banging. I was like, <sighs> what if he knocked himself out and just fell down the drain? I wouldn't know what to do. Like I was look, I like it was a horror Ugh. film of me looking down and being like, "If there's a fucking hummingbird in my garbage disposal, oh my God. like what am I gonna do?" That's so why I li- I had the so image. many thoughts when we were down there of like I'll have to get a sheet and try and like get it <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> like a bullfighter. Oh That's the only thing. Wait, this, to me, this is your thinking. If one came inside, yeah, because to me a broom would be like <laughs> I don't trust my touch. And I'm going well, to squash it. would have been it. more like a, I'm not going to touch it, but right. more like a, I just need you to move six feet to the left yeah. and that fucking wall is open for you to leave. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Wow. Well, okay. you know, you remember um, uh, sometime in pandemic when Chip and I came home from like a night of drinking and there was a hummingbird like stunned <laughs> on our back porch and I brought him in and we fed him sugar and I put him in a heating pad and it started like flying in our living room. Oh my God. And then I had to bring it outside. I mean, we <laughs> so saved nice. it. I've got videos and pics. I'm sure I've posted them before, but, um, but they're so it, bold down there. It was cracking me up because uh, it was crazy, like the same yeah. time every day that they would come and try and eat the lights. Like they were and they're like, trying to build a nest up there. I, I support it as long as they stay outside. So we got to keep the mesh closed. <laughs> <laughs> if you learned anything from this podcast, it's close your mesh, close your mesh, your hot mesh. Finding all of your grocery items in one place at an affordable price is almost impossible. But with Thrive Market, you can get everything you need and so much more. With Thrive Market, you can shop everything from healthy pantry essentials and sustainable meat and seafood to non-toxic cleaning and beauty products, all delivered right to your door. And if you find a price lower elsewhere, Thrive Market will match it. They will not be outdone. Thrive Market carefully vets each and every item so you can trust that if they sell it, it's probably the highest quality available. Finding everything you need is easy on Thrive Market because you can filter by 90 plus values and lifestyles to find what works for you. Shop by what you eat and what matters the most to you. With over 5,000 food, home, and beauty products, finding what you need is easy with Thrive Market. So if you're looking for, I don't know, off the top of my head, plant-based, keto, gluten-free, zero waste, BIPOC-owned businesses, Thrive Market has you covered. I recently did a Thrive uh, order and I am thriving. I'm obsessed with the Zoom Mist Sandalwood Citrus Mist that you're supposed to spray in places and on things to help calm them down. (laughs) Listen to me, I'm very calm. (laughs) When you join Thrive Market, you're joining a community of 1 million plus members and sponsoring a family in need. And with their fast and free carbon neutral shipping, you're also bettering the planet. Can your grocery store do that? Join Thrive Market today to get 40% off your first order and a free gift worth over $50. That's T-H-R-I-V-E market.com slash T-M-G-W to get 40% off your first order and a free gift worth over $50. Again, that's thrivemarket.com slash T-M-G-W, thrivemarket.com slash T-M-G-W. It's funny. There's all these gimmicks that promise a great night's sleep. Well, I don't care what kind of toppers there are or how heavy a blanket may be. It's lipstick on the pig, baby. If you're sleeping on a terrible mattress, your sleep is going to be terrible. It is that simple. And that's why I recommend sleeping on a purple mattress. That's because only purple mattresses have the Gel Flex Grid. It's a super stretchy, ultra squishy material that adapts and flexes around pressure points and doesn't retain heat. The Gel Flex Grid is amazingly supportive for your back, your legs, and cushioning your shoulders, necks, and hips, no matter how you sleep. Unlike memory foam, which remembers everything. Thanks to the Gel Flex Grid, purple mattresses bounce back as you move and shift. You'll never have that, oh, I'm stuck feeling people get when they're in memory foam. I love it because, listen, 
I like to move around when I sleep. I can't even help it. I'm, I'm basically dancing in my sleep, and I don't want to wake up my partner, and I also don't want to feel like I can't move when I want to. The Purple Grid helps that little bounce back, the little support, the little, we got you, girl, if you want to switch from your back to your side. So try your Purple Mattress risk-free with free shipping and returns. Financing is available, too, because a good mattress is a good investment. Getting a great night's sleep starts with having a great mattress. So get a Purple Mattress. Go to purple.com slash TMGW10 and use code TMGW10. For a limited time, you can get 10% off any orders of $200 or more. That's purplemattress.com slash TMGW10, code TMGW10, for 10% off any order of $200 or more. Purple.com slash TMGW10 and promo code TMGW10. Terms apply. Um, but anyway, so I was there and not really talking to anyone. Uh huh. And then I got to I got to the point of like forty eight hours alone because I like including Thursday and then I yeah. went down there Friday and then it's Saturday where I was like I I need to like see another human. Yeah. Because I was ordering food. I was ordering fifteen dollar coffee. Just kidding. <laughs> I was actually making coffee. Um. So I was like beans. Let's go to a bar. <laughs> right. <laughs> I was like, it's four o'clock. I and I said it on Instagram story, too. It was like I had this scene to write for the movie. Yeah. And I was like dreading it because it was like, a, you know, a reconciliation, emotional kind of scene. Yeah. yeah you know, yeah. and so I was like, enter into the emotion. Yeah. A different vibe where I was just like, no, I want to just write jokes. Yeah. So I was like, all right, I can't write this scene. Let's do a change of scenery. So we go to this cute little wine bar. <laughs> it's that's we. <laughs> we. <laughs> you and I put beans in her wine shirt. <laughs> Oh, she dressed appropriately. Oh, I put okay. Her, I put her you didn't watch. want her to stand out. No. You wanted her to blend in with I the crowd. Was like, Come on, Beans. You might get hit on. Um, so anyway, put her in a wine shirt. I put in put on real clothes. We had this as a wine bar. Do, 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 do. And I go inside. I um, I was like, I just want like something cold and dry and sparkling. Okay. And he was like, well, we have like a, um, a sparkling chin and blanc and a rosé or champagne. And I was like, I'll just take champagne. Right. Yeah. And then without even looking. And then he like goes to get a bottle from the back. And then I then I peruse the menu and like a glass is thirty five dollars of champagne because it's like champagne. Yeah. It wasn't like smart. <laughs> and I was like, oh, God. Oh, gee. Not that, what have I oh, done? God. Oh, God. Um, and I was like, well. That's what you fucking get. That's what you fucking get. Uh, I could have gotten three bottles at the grocery store. So anyway, he comes back and luckily he's like, no one stocked it. It's not cold. I was like, oh, what a pity. Oh, no. Oh, God. <laughs> so anyway, so I got my glass of whatever and they were really sweet to beans. And I go outside and I'm writing and doing my thing. And uh, so anyway, so I'm there for a bit. And then eventually this couple comes and sits at the next table and they were probably like, Early sixties, okay. maybe late fifties, early sixties. Guys has the guy has on like a, a trucker hat, okay, and like a a crush soda shirt. Oh, crush like the brand, like the brand. Oh, okay, okay. She's got like a little um y- ying. Oh my god, I always say yeah, yin yang. What? No, what? A yin yang is a uh, yin and yang. Yin yang symbol. What is that called? Yeah, I'm yeah. sorry. I'm thinking yin yang, yin yang twins. Yin yang. Oh, yin yang. Okay, because yeah. I listened to the yin yang twins, and I was like, "Am I mispronouncing but this?" But you're pointing to your head. She had a hair claw. Oh, okay. Like, so yin they yang were like okay. older, but like wearing like cute stuff. You know okay. what I mean? And we're sitting there for a minute, and they're like, "Oh my god, look at that angel to beans, yeah. right?" And I'm like, "Yeah." He immediate the guy immediately gets on the ground, and it's like, and I'm like, and she goes <laughs> meets her where she's at. Yeah, yeah, and and the woman's like. She, he's a dog whisperer and I go well good luck because she's a bitch <laughs> and I was like I was like don't take it personal you are not going to get a lick yeah. like if you get a sniff you've basically been like knighted you've by the queen you've charmed the princess yeah right so we start talking and uh, in my head I'm like I have so much work to do but also any time to talk to a couple yeah. of interesting people so we're chatting and and they like moved there during the pandemic because they had family there and now they're like from LA and now they're like now we're kind of like oh we've had enough of this yeah. we want this to be a place we visit I was like I totally get it I yep. got a place here with my bestie and so we're chatting and they're asking me what I'm doing I'm like I'm writing but I don't go into detail yeah and then I and then I say well, what do you guys do because you're living in Palm Springs and, and like, you guys my spirit, you look really cool yeah you're chilling <laughs> um and she just goes he's an inventor 
<laughs> she has been waiting. Waiting, waiting for me They're to going, ask. How many things can we ask her about herself until yeah. she reciprocates I mean, the they question. asked me, like, what do I do immediately? But for some reason, like, that <sighs> is such a mental block. Like, for some reason in my head, it's like... Is it a rude question? I, I, or su- the, maybe it just feels the superficial. The problem for me is because I don't know, like, currently how to define what it is that I'm doing. Because I do you feel don't wanna like you want to be asked it. I don't want to be asked. Yeah. So I think I project that I don't ask that to other people because, mm. like, it is assumed that it's like a circular question. Right. Like, we're going to find out about each other right, right now. And so, because I don't want, care to answer. Yeah. No, I see that. I see that. But, like, but he's an inventor. He's an inventor. But, but that question in general is so loaded because I feel like since we live in LA, yeah, and we're in quote unquote the industry, I feel like it's almost been like a no no. Like, that's what you ask because you assume that you're like seeing if that person could be advantageous to you whatsoever. You yeah, know what I mean? Yeah. It's if a, you're a part of you're like, so what do you do? It seems like a little bit of a slimy Social question. Climber. Yeah. Like in any other town, you'd be like, what do you do? And you'd be like, I'm a teacher. Yeah. I, yeah, yeah. I'm a contractor, like whatever it is. But so anyway, she's like, he's an inventor. He's invented a ton of things. Huh. And I was like, <laughs> name oh, three. <laughs> oh, okay. Like, and he's like the most calm Zen man I've ever, like he has, if he doesn't have an ASMR channel, he has a hypnosis channel. <laughs> like he's just talking. He goes, "Yes, I am." I, am. I was like, "Okay." I was like, "Like what?" Like I'm living for this. Yeah, like so, slubber. So she was like, "Tons of things, but not all of them taken off." But and then he looks at me and he goes, "Are you in the fashion industry?" And I was like, <laughs> first of all, <laughs> you know, well, obviously you've seen Beans in her Hawaiian best." I was like, so. I've never been asked that in my life. I wear one puffy princess sleeve and here we go. I was like, no. So I guess he like had started like some, he's like one of the first people to do like pop-up sales. Oh, Like okay. runway, you know, like yeah, those yeah. kind of sales. But she goes, but most recently he created an invention called pain cakes. And paint? I go, I go, paint cakes? Like, is it, oh, I was like, oh, like pancakes, but with the colors. So you're like drawing because like pancake yeah. art. She goes, no, pain cakes. And I was like, <laughs> it's Tim Allen. I said, what? <laughs> so I guess he invented these things and they're like in every store and online and like Walmart and everything that are basically ice packs that stick to you. Yeah. So if you have an injury that... And so you don't want to like right. wrap up an injury, whatever. Wow. So I guess the origin story, because I like to, I asked him, I was like, so do you just get random ideas or do you like invent things that are specific to like, you see a problem in your own life and you want to solve right, it? Right, right, right. You know, I'm trying like, to get, what's your shark tank pitch? I'm trying to get into that inventor brain. Yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. And he goes, no, I had like, he had like hurt his foot or, or no, okay. he had like hurt his arm. Okay. Wrapped up like a big ice pack on it. Uh huh. Uh, one like a few years ago it slid out landed on his toe and broke his toe well the irony I My mean goodness so he was like there's got to be a better way <laughs> so anyway and that was the black and white depiction that started right? the totally commercial and the guy's like holding his foot and Zoinks. jumping around and then he falls in the trash <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway i was like what the fuck he goes so i had this idea and and i my head is spinning i'm like so then do you like do you make your own prototype do you have like like factories in china like how do you know they're made in seattle he got like a nasa engineer to like figure out like how it can stay cold for longer and how it can wow. like stick multiple times yeah. and she was like yeah when we first had like some examples we were just going to marathons and just like sticking on, on people <laughs> when they like finished like finished the the race yeah and so i was like i if you'd given me nine million guesses who I'm going to chat with today, Not- I didn't think it'd be an inventor of a thing called pain cakes. Yeah, I'm looking at their Instagram store. They have great reviews. Great reviews. Excellent. They've sold a ton. I think he's had a bunch of inventions that didn't do much. And now pain cakes is his like flagship. Wow. Yeah. I mean, this one is taking off currently. I mean, it, the it looks really legit. Their branding. I like it very, very much. So I said to him, I go, well, what was your first invention? What did you do? And yeah. he goes, well, my first way I made money and he made 100K before he was 13. I mean, OK. What? All right. Okay. All right. Um, he goes, he didn't tell me that. I Googled him. <laughs> bought the rights to his story to start writing this movie i just started a youtube channel called pancakes tv um so he goes uh, the first time 
he ever did anything like entrepreneurial uh-huh. is he took seventy five hundred dollars that he got for his bar mitzvah. Like Good all the money. I know. I was like, Jesus Christ. I don't okay. think I saw more than fifty dollars <laughs> until I was, I know. 22 I was like, years you know how old? long it would have taken me to save seventy five hundred dollars <laughs> as a child? About seven hundred and fifty years yeah, worth exactly. of birthdays. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> um, more. So anyway, he was like, I took the money from my bar mitzvah. He uh-huh. was like thirteen. He called a rowing machine yeah. company and was like, Will you sell those to me wholesale? The machines themselves. The machines themselves. As a 13-year-old. As a 13-year-old. They said, sure. Like, here it is. <laughs> sure, little man. Then he spent $7,500 putting an ad in the National Enquirer for these rowing machines. And <gasps> Wait, so he didn't do anything to them. He just resold them for a higher... He just resold them for a higher price. But to, but spent put all his money seventy five hundred dollars. He got a he got a he got I don't a. Know if that's I, inventing or I know. it's inventing well, marketing. He, I know I know. Well, more was like, so you're a scammer. Yeah. But like, still to think the brain. And he was like, so I did that, and I spent all my money on this one ad in a national magazine, oh and God. I got a PO box because at that point you'd order you know yeah, through the yeah. mail, and I went and there were. I went and looked for the first time like a few weeks later and there was nothing in there. And my mom was like, see, I told you, you spent yeah. all that money and blah, 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 blah. And then and then the P.O. Bo- the like the guy working at the post office was like they wouldn't fit and came out <gasps> with two bags. I mean, this orders. movie writes itself. I was like, Jesus. What? <laughs> So I'm sitting there now on my third glass. <laughs> yeah, yeah like, I've spent seven thousand dollars on three glasses of wine. Yes, <laughs> listen to this man's oh, story. Absolutely. It's like, well, can I have a job because I'm now broke? Yeah, you, see, you see how I operate with my finances. Isn't that so random? That's wild. I and mean, so is he. I mean, can you ever be retired as an inventor? You can't. You can't well, turn that kind of brain off. You can't turn that brain off. What's he working on now? I guess he can't tell uh, he you. He couldn't tell me. Uh-huh. Because I would have become a, conte- a competitor. You would, <laughs> like, can I buy a wholesale, whatever you're inventing from you? But she was like, <laughs> I've got, she was like, our garage is full of like things he invented when he was a kid. And like, wow, you know, you probably like just have a bunch of ones where you're like, what was I thinking? Well, on I want to. I want to know how they met each other, and also mm. she seems to be his hype man because she's well, yeah, the I, one being like, "Would you like to hear a story?" <laughs> like truly, he was just sitting there, just trying to pet beans, and she was like, "And furthermore, he's a genius." <laughs> so I was like, "Okay, do you know who's petting your dog right now? Right? The inventor of pancakes. Pancakes. Oh, tiny dog, do you have any aches and pains? <laughs> and this will Would you like this you. stuck to you? <laughs> uh, I'm gonna buy some. That's incredible. I mean, they're. Pretty cost effective. They're not. It's eleven ninety nine. Hey, for cheaper one, than a cup of coffee in Los Angeles. <laughs> yeah, you can get, you can get three pancakes for one cup of coffee delivered. Oh man. Oh, I want to tell you something else that happened. Yeah. This week. This is just a tiny thing. I have another story, but we might save it till next week. Sure. Uh. So okay, you know how when I was in Palm Springs a few weeks ago, mm-hmm. and I thought it was fucking crazy that my Postmates guy came up. And knocked and said, police. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They and then like, when I opened the door, he had a black eye. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. I was like, <laughs> yeah. Like, Many questions. That's what you get for these kind of tricks. So I'm at Kiwi's house uh-huh. working on the movie. And it gets to be about six o'clock. And she's like, do you want a margarita and walk the dogs? I was like, yes, that would be a perfect way to end the day. Her uh, partner, he makes an amazing margarita. So I was like, yes, this is great. Like a, a job well done. <laughs> yeah, earned. A, a double margarita and a walk. Yeah. Right. So I am already in my head like people, her neighbors know her. She's kooky little kiwi. Yeah. You know what I mean? She's always wearing like some crazy Hawaiian print and walking with a cocktail and a cigarette. She's your future. With her tiny dog. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. She is your future. <laughs> exactly. So... But well, we're at her house and there are helicopters that are going nuts. Oh, and yeah. I'm like, God, that's just so loud. We go outside. It's literally just circling her block. <sighs> like low. Yeah. Like to the point where I'm like, will you check lock your, citizen- your gates? Yeah. Maybe check your citizens out. Yeah. Oh, and she wouldn't know how to download <laughs> that. Um, but so I was just like, maybe lock all your shit yeah. right now. Like there's clearly something Something's up. bad going down. And if it's a helicopter, it's not like. It was reported like someone's on foot. Yeah. It's like they're looking from an aerial point of view. Yeah. yeah. They're trying to find somebody. Yeah. Okay. That bird is looking for its prey. Yeah. So anyway, it eventually ends. And we're like, okay, well, that's fine. Let's let's take our margaritas for a walk. <laughs> I mean, our dogs with margaritas. 
<laughs> the important. Let's take the important let's take, things. Let's, let's drink our walk. dogs and walk our marks. Let's <laughs> yeah. go. So anyway, <laughs> they're not looking for us. Don't worry. Oh, we're good. You should lock your door. <laughs> so, so, and she's got a tiny little chihuahua named Trudy. Yeah. Right. And I mean, like it's. Kiwi. She wrote Legally Blonde. She basically has bruiser. Yeah, she lives the life. You know, so we're walking the dog. We each have a margarita. And then there's like eight cop cars oh. on her like street. She, yeah, she's yeah. like got like a corner house. So it's on like one of the street. And I can tell there's like a girl filling out a police report. Uh, and so I'm like, oh, shit. I bet there was like a daytime break in. Yeah. I bet like some or Something someone happened. attempted to break in. She called them whatever it was. But it looks like nothing's violent. So that's great. So anyway, so I'm like, can we just be walking around margarita? <laughs> <laughs> It's not on Bourbon Street. <laughs> but meanwhile, I'm thinking, okay, if there's a fucking helicopter in this neighborhood and they decide to switch their attention to us, have <laughs> like, what are they going to do? Come over and be like, are those lemonades, ladies? Are they ladies? Let me sniff it. So anyway, I'm like, whatever. Just walk with confidence. <laughs> so, so we're walking and Kiwi goes, is every, like, like you would if you were in a neighborhood to be like, you like what's going on i live down the street you yeah. know you you want to know See, i mean yeah good for, i would I, you guys walking towards that i would walk away oh no no we're walking past it and uh, like if that was on my block i'd be like what's going what's yeah. happening you know so anyway so kiwi's like is everything okay whatever and one of the cops goes oh yeah ma'am everything's fine mm -hmm. the other cop goes yeah just a dead body <gasps> and we both our jaws drop and he goes oh, i'm just kidding and <sighs> and i look and i'm like that's not funny. And then we kept. So now we went from being like silly margarita, tiny dog ladies to being like, should we report this cop for inappropriate <laughs> joking? <laughs> like, like immediately you could tell he regretted saying it and kind uh, of covered his name tag. Oh, like he could feel himself going. No, no, no. And like being like, oh, like to, to, to say it here, it come out uh. of your mouth and then watch two women's jaws just what did he say <laughs> like there's a split second where i was like he he's getting fired today there's yeah there's, you don't joke that there's a, a like a all. murder on a block cops all. aren't allowed to do that i don't think cops should joke period at all at all uh i'm with you we've decided <laughs> i was in shock i mean we That's kept wild. walking and we were like what the fuck just happened yeah you should not be able to joke about that as a cop no that's this is a, a psa because this is, our audience is mostly cops <laughs> cops and narcs that's our crowd and look we're giving you guys really solid advice okay oh god so anyway take it i was just shookity duck 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 wow yeah those are not good jokes uh terrible jokes leave them leave them uh okay wow i feel weird leaving on that note can i tell you one more thing well i i uh, you got stuff I have a billion things that I haven't oh, even I'm sorry. talked about. No, no, no. It's just all news stories. I wanted to talk oh. about, it's now making the rounds. I brought this up last week, the edible tape. Tasty tape. I'm sorry, Ikumi. What? You did? I brought, you brought out, this up? I brought it at the very end last week that I said, I'll talk about this next week. Oh. <laughs> Tasty tape. What the hell is this? I it's, love things that you can eat that you're not supposed to eat. It's basically uh, to tape burritos closed so Shut you can the eat fuck the whole thing. <gasps> Tasty tape. Uh, oh my god was it invented by the inventor of pancakes <laughs> it might as well have been no it's re-engineering the napkin and <laughs> it, wait what's it made out of it's edible oh well, yeah uh, <laughs> <laughs> so basically it's uh impervious to guacamole stains the team of chemical and biomedical uh, biomolecular engineering students okay has developed uh, this new product and they've tested various ingredients and came up with an edible alternative that they're attempting to patent. So it's not even patented yet. Whoa. Oh my yeah. God. I should call my new friend and be like, get in So there. they're not get ready to share the exact ingredients. It's like trade secret for them until they patent it. Because they don't I want wonder. anyone to steal it. But it's getting press. Okay. But and that's what I'm worried about. Okay. But here's the thing. So when, when I hear tape, mm -hmm. I'm thinking you wrap up your little burrito. Yeah. And then you're literally taping the side like well, a gift. Because if not, because well, if it was just an adhesive, okay. Little piece of tape. Little piece it, of tape. It looks like a fruit. It looks like a um, fruit by the foot. Which would obviously Which is be kind of tape. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of <laughs> just cover that in some salt. They said it's made from additives that are already used in many foods and is completely safe to consume. Wow. Yeah. Uh, and it's pre-cut two inch strips. So it's, you know. Specifically for burritos. Because what else would you need to use that for? They said burritos. They said tacos. Wraps. Wraps, uh, 
I feel like it's just all of those. Anything, I guess, that could fall out. And I guess it's savory flavored. <laughs> 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 Well, uh, stuffed shells, maybe <laughs> if you want to keep oh, them in. If you really want them stuffed, <laughs> yeah. Man, did you see the guy? There was a uh, clip of a guy who created something that you eat your crunchy tacos off of, and what falls out is funneled into a different taco shell. So then you have your leftover taco. That's amazing. I mean, amazing. People amazing. are really coming up with the best stuff. We, I mean, adults should just wear bibs. We, we should just wear those bibs, the yeah. plastic ones that the babies oh, yeah. have. The and then silicone. you get a little spoon. And then <laughs> yeah. you get a little spoon. Today has been brought to you by Inventions. Yes. Mexican food. And. And jokes my- for only appropriate <laughs> moments. Okay. I don't know. Oh, it's got weird. 